Okay, so as long as Blue doesn't have any Dragon-type Pokémon, we should be okay. Of course he does! I've got no idea what we're going to do against this. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the finale! We have almost completed our Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. We are currently sitting at the Elite Four. We have not gone in yet, but we will be going in in this episode, and this will be the last one of the series. We have Team Recap, the Danny the Duskull, with the Insomnia ability at level 51. Our Blade, the Skeptile, at level 51. Rupture, the Camerupt, at level 49. Our famous Pink Beetle, the Shiny Heracross, from the very beginning, uh, at level 52 with the Synchronize ability. Cannons, our Blastoise, at level 53. And Sphinx, our Espeon, at level 50. Now... We are going to go straight into it. We are not going to grind. We are not going to do nothing like that. We are actually lying because we are going to grind quickly. Um, by grind, I mean just go back into the uh, cave and battle the trainers that we missed because we were relatively low on health. Um, so I think there's about another four trainers that we can quickly battle. And then we are going to go through the Elite Four. So... We're just going to get through these four trainers here to gain some experience. We will also kill this Ursa Rang. And Danny probably can't do anything to this Ursa Rang. Which he can't. So Danny will be substituted for Rupture, who's our level 49 Camerupt, who does need some experience. Camerupt was also the latest member on the team. So we will just fast forward through that one. Why can we not battle this guy? Oh, okay. So I thought that this guy was a trainer, but he's not. Alright, let's see what move he teaches us. Ooh, Thunderbolt. It's actually a pretty good move. Um, we will learn Thunderbolt. And we're gonna learn. We're gonna lose Nightshade for Thunderbolt. Okay, now that comes in handy, obviously, because we did lose our Electabuzz. Uh, we do have a double battle right here, so we're gonna move. We'll move Sphinx up to the front because he is the second lowest level, and we'll move Rupture second. So we will get to fight these two as a team and let's see how we go an Ariados and a Survivor perfect match for these two obviously uh, Psychic can take out the Survivor easily Eruption will do good damage to the Ariados and the Survivor so it should kill the Ariados as well I believe Okay, Rupture grew to level 50. That eruption there should kill the Ariados. And it is dead. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we've only got one more. Oh, okay, we can't even battle him. Um, yep, so we will just go ahead and battle the Elite Four. I mean, we should be pretty close to the Elite Four's level. They are all from level 55 to 60, if I remember correctly, so let's just get into it. quickly kill this swallow ok 
Okay, and here we are, guys. Quickly make sure that we are all healed up and up to date. We will check what items we have. We've got 19 full heals. We've got 8 full restores. 19 antidotes and 25 max potions. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's lead with our Pink Beetle, who's been around for the longest time out of all the rest of our Pokemon now, uh, since our Electabuzz did die. Heracross is now our team captain. And L'Oreal is starting out with an Octillery, which is fine. Go for a Volt Tackle. Should do good damage, may not KO. Got close, got the crit. Been hit with some decent recoil. Okay, that's fine. And we should be able to finish with a brick break. And we've done it, guys. We've defeated our first Pokemon of the Elite Four. Oh, and it's going to learn Mega Horn. Alright, I'm going to lose Flamethrower. Ooh, and an Electabuzz. We should be able to go for a Mega Horn here. Okay, and we've hit the Mega Horn. That'll do good damage. Oh, that'll do very good damage. Pink Beetle. Clutching it. One hit KO. Ooh, and we got Blissey, the fat girl. Alright, I'm going to heal up while I've got the chance. I'm just going to make sure we don't have anything else to use apart from that. So we're going to be using max potions, guys. We've only got 25 of these, so we don't have a whole lot. We should actually be able to beat, take one more hit, but we won't risk it. Oh, okay. Bliss is going for the defense curl. That's not good. We don't really want to get stalled, neither. Okay, the super effective brick break's going very well. Oh, and another one hit KO. Pink Beetle is an absolute beast. Blastoise. We're going to swap out for Blade. Pink Beetle's done quite a lot since being out. Rapid Spin's fine. It's not going to do anything to us. Go for a Leaf Blade. I forgot that Blade had the, um, is it the Downpour ability where it makes it rain. But that's fine. Okay, and L'Oreal... Lorelei's last Pokemon is a Tyranitar. The Rock Dark type. Leaf Blade should be super effective. Okay, you've got it to half health. It's going for Scary Face, making us slower. I'd say we should still outspeed this thing, though. Okay, it's going for the Rock Slide. This will probably do good damage. Okay, but we're going to finish it off right now with another Leaf Blade. Oh, and it's just held on. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to send out Cannons. Now, hopefully, because it's raining as well, our cannons, you can use Surf, and it'll do some good damage. Might get a one-hit KO. Okay, it's 
Okay, getting close. A second surf will do it. I can't see this thing one hit KOing us unless it gets a crit crit thrash or something. Oh, he made us flinch. Oh, come on! Okay, we're gonna have to use our second max potion here. Okay, now he's locked into Thrash. Or she's locked into Thrash, that's fine. Hopefully we can get the, uh... Surf here to kill. We've connected, we're sweet, we are fine. That Tyranitar is down. Okay, we have defeated the first member. Lorelei is out of it. We will quickly need to heal up our Pokemon again. We're going to be cutting it pretty close with our potions. Just gonna quickly see if we've got any ice type moves just in case we come across a dragon. Oh wow, we have no ice type moves neither. If we come across a dragon type Pokemon, it is gonna be very difficult. Alright, try to take on Bruno. The second member of the Elite Four. Starting off with a Dark Mightyana. Pink Beetle loves Dark types, it's fine. We'll go for a Brick Break. Should be a one hit KO. Pink Beetle absolutely bosses it. Should grow to level 54. A Blossom. It's fine, we'll go for a Mega Horn. This could be another one hit KO right now. Oh, like an absolute boss. Look at that girl go. Another Tyranitar. Okay, we outspeed. We're fine. We've got quite effective right now. Brick Break. Tyranitar is Dark Rock, so we are obviously fighting, which is good. A Ludicolo, another fine Pokemon. Ludicolo's got the Intimidate, which is not good. We will go for a Mega Horn, though, and hopefully destroy this thing still with the Intimidate and the Attack Drop. Oh, and we nail it! What a girl! What a girl Pink Beetle is! And the last Pokemon is a Primeape. Bit of a harder one. We don't have any flying type Pokemon. We're going to go for a... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Thankfully, our bug type... Uh, our bug typing helps reduce attack moves. Uh, helps reduce fighting moves, I should say. We are going to have to get out of there. We will send out the Sphinx. That's fine, we can take a Screech. Gotta be careful here, hopefully our Psychic finishes the Primeape off. If it doesn't, we might be in a bit of strife here. But it does, so we're fine. Pink Beetle grows to level 55. Absolute legend she is. My job is done, go face your next challenge. Radio Bruno. Radio. Alright, we're going to use another Max Potion. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to see if we've got a Super Potion to use. Do we have any Super Potions? Do we have anything else that we can use? You know what? I'm going to give the Shoal Shell to someone anyway. Wow. 
What else we got? Let's try to see what we can kind of potentially use. Alright, we're going to take the Shoal Shell from Blade and give him the Miracle Seed. We're going to use the Shoal Shell back on our Blastoise. We're going to give a quick claw to Danny. Alright, we've got two leftovers that we can give to. One can go to Sphinx. And that'll do. Alright, we're going to have to use a Max Potion. Bit of a waste, but what can we do? We can't leave Pink Beetle half health. Going into the next battle. Alright, time to defeat Agatha. She reckons she's going to show us how a true trainer battles, guys. Let's get onto her. Ooh, okay. And she's not stuffing around. She's starting off with a Typhlosion. We need to get out of here. We are going to swap straight into cannons. Flame wheel doesn't do too much. Doesn't get the burn off. We're fine. We're going to go for a surf. Oh, it's just held on. Swift shouldn't do much neither. It got lucky and got the crit. I'm going to go for a rain dance here while she heals up with a full restore. Okay, now that it's raining, we will be able to take out the Typhlosion with the surf. Isn't it amazing that our cannon outspeeds a level 54 Typhlosion? It's higher level than us and we're still outspeeding it. You gigantic fast turtle boy. Ooh, a Ludicolo. This isn't good. We will get out of here for this. I just don't know what we can swap into. Alright, we're going to send back out Pink Beetle. Absorb's going to do nothing. We're going to tank that like an absolute boss. And we're going to come back right down and hard with a Mega Horn back at them. And we land the Mega Horn. This Ludicolo has got to go down. A Quagsire is fine. Go for a brick break. We don't want this thing to be setting up. Special defense is fine. Now I'm going for a cut here because if we do too much damage it will heal up. Uh oh. Okay, it's got some pretty powerful moves on Earthquake, but we'll go for another Brick Break, should finish. Alright, Quagsire down. And Agron, no dramas for us. We should outspeed. If we outspeed, we've got a one-hit KO for the Brick Break. Okay, Agron's going for the Protect because it knows it's going to get its ass kicked and handed to her by the Pink Beetle. It's not going to get the double Protect off. Got to believe in Pink Beetle. Go Pink Beetle. God damn it, it got the double Protect off. Very unlikely situation to happen. Alright, the good news is it cannot get the third Protect off. So we're going to go for a third Brick Break. This should finish. Hopefully it's gone for Protect if it doesn't kill. Oh, we're fine. Look at that girl go. Ooh, a Heracross vs Heracross battle. We are getting the hell out of here because we are half health.
thankfully we have Rupture to come in. This thing knows Mega Horn, so we've got to be careful. Oh, and then knows Counter too. We have to make sure we stick to special type moves and not physical, so we're going to have to go with the Eruption, which is fine. Hopefully this kills. Should do good damage. Air crosses have got good defense, not the best special defense. Okay, and we've come away with that one alright. And we have taken down the third member of the Elite Four. On to the fourth. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. She must have been talking about Professor Oak, I'm assuming. We're going to heal up both Pink Beetle and Cannons. And we are going to get back to it. Now it's time for the fourth member of the Elite Four. The Dragon Master, Lance. Thankfully, it is a randomizer, because I'd probably be more scared of facing him with his normal Pokemon at the moment. Considering we have got a real lack for Dragon types. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna send out Rupture again. Fury Swipes is gonna do nothing anyway. Ooh, spider web. I don't know what this does. Alright, Rupture cannot escape. That's fine. We've gone for an eruption. Hopefully this one hit KOs. Alright, Ariados fainted. Alright, what else we got? Okay, we need to get out of here. A gold duck will kill us. Hopefully it goes for a water type move. It's not gonna do too much damage to blade, even though we help it with the water. I'll wait for a confusion. Oh, and it gets the confuse off. Alright, I'm gonna go for a leaf blade. Alright, blade goes through the confusion and attacks the Golduck. Oh, it's a one-hit KO. It is a critical. Look at Blade getting these crits that matter this late in the game. A victory bell. Okay, hopefully Blade doesn't hurt itself. Good. Blade gets a screech off. Sharply lowers its defense. Razor Leaf won't do anything to us. Alright, we're gonna go for strength. Come on, Blade. Oh, absolutely nailing it. Okay, we've got the tail off health. Okay. Victory Bell's gone for sleep powder. Rain continues to fall. We're going to swap. Well, we're going to use a full heal on Blade. Blade is now awake. That's fine. That is fine. Alright, we're going to go for another strength here, which should kill. Victory Bell down. Victory Bell is down. Alright, Porygon 2. Okay, this can cause us a little bit of strife. We've got to be a bit careful here. Alright, what are we going to go into? What can we go into? Danny? Danny's got Will-O-Wisp and Shadow Punch is not going to do anything. Alright, we're going to go into Danny here. Porygons usually know some Psychic-type moves. 
try attacks fine, it can't hurt us. Go for a Willow Wisp. Okay, we get the Willow Wisp off. Alright, we're gonna go for a Thunder Bunch, uh, Thunder Bolt. Okay, Zap Cannon got us the Paralyze, unfortunately. We hit the Thunderbolt, though. Alright, that did nothing. It's okay, it is hurt by the burn. We are going to swap out... We could do it. Alright, I'm gonna go out to Rupture. Should go for Zap Cannon here, which... Okay, went for Lock On. That's fine. I'm gonna go for an Earthquake here. It's going for the Jewel Lock On. Hopefully this Earthquake just finishes it off or gets it in burn damage distance. Okay, it is going to heal up, unfortunately. Alright, we're going to go for a Focus Energy. This thing can now go for Try Attack as well, which is not good. A Stab Try Attack is going to be quite strong against us. We're going to go for an Earthquake. Thankfully, this Paragon is using Lock On. Hopefully we can get a critical hit. We don't get the crit, unfortunately. I think this Porygon 2 might be broken, guys. It's just making so many dumb decisions. Okay, I thought that Lance might heal up again. We're going to go for a strength this time. That's fine. Two earthquakes and this thing should go down or a crit. Hopefully we get a crit and just don't have to deal with this idiot using lock on five times in a row. Okay, we have not gotten a crit yet. The focus energy was for nothing guys. For absolutely nothing. Alright, it's gone for the try attack. See how much damage this does to us. Okay, it did quite a bit and it got the paralyze off on us. Rapture, fights through the paralyze, uses earthquake, finish it off. Yes, alright. Paragon 2 is down, guys. Paragon 2 is down. Next Pokemon, let's see, his last Pokemon. A Clefable at level 60. Alright, bit of a worry here, guys. We've got to be a bit careful. Going for metronome. Alright, I went for refresh, which was nothing. Oh, come on, get a crit. Haze is fine. Ah, rupture's paralyzed. Alright, we're going to get out of here. I just don't know what to go out to. We're going to go out to Sphinx. Oh, I didn't want this thing to go for Minimize. See how much damage Psychic does. Does a bit. Oh, and it's got a berry. Alright, it's in distance. Oh, gets the thing off. 
fine. We're going to wake up now anyway, because I'm going to use an item. I'm just going to use a full heal. Full heal. Alright, Sphinx is back at it. Double slap, miss. Which means Lance isn't going for the heal up, which is good. We're going to use a, a Psychic, and we miss the Psychic. Cliff Abel misses the thing. The rain continues to fall. And we missed the second Psyche, come on! It's alright. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Come on. Hit. Alright, Sphinx nails the Clefable with a Psyche. Puts it down, and that is the end of Dragon Tamer Lance. He's gone, he's out of it. Former champion is done. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Sako. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or, you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is Blue. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Blue's got nothing on us. We are going to absolutely destroy Blue. That's what we're going to do to him. We're just going to heal up our Pokemon first. Max potions. Max potions to everyone, guys. Rupture. Max potion. Blade. Max potion. Danny. Max potion. And we are all fully healed up. Let's do this, Blue. Hey, Sacco. I was looking forward to seeing you, Sacco. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Sacco, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world! Let's see, Blue. Let's see, Blue. Let's see how really strong you are. Alright, Champion Blue, starting out with the Typhlosion. This thing's power. Not good start for Pink Beetle. Pink Beetle needs to get out of here. We're going to send out cannons. This thing's probably going to go for a flame wheel, so we should eat that up. That's fine. Alright, if we go for a surf here, hopefully it will make Blue use one of his full potions. And then if it does use one of his full potions, his max heals or whatever it is. Yep, that's fine. We're going to go for a rain dance now. A full restore. Now that it's raining, we've got the advantage. Go for a surf. This surf should knock out Typhlosion. And he's done. Typhlosion is down. Cannons will grow to level 54. Relicanth, that's fine. We're going to use another Surf against this thing. Oh, he's gone for Double Edge. Alright, we tank that. We're going to go for another Surf here. Should kill it. As long as we hit, we're sweet. And we connected. Relicanth is down. Four more to go. We've still got his very strong Guard of Water battle. Alright, he's gone for an Azumarill. Not the best Pokemon for us. We're going to go send out Blade. It's a very wet field. Okay, this thing's got speed boost too, so it will outspeed us. We're going to have to go for a Leaf Blade. Alright, because this thing's got speed boost, we will need to heal up here. If it didn't have speed boost, we probably would have outsped then. 
Alright, Blade's back to full health. Azumarill is back to full health. The rain continues to fall. Alright, that's fine. This thing is very quick right now. Oh no, and it crits. Hopefully Leaf Blade also crits. If it does, we're fine. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. Alright, Leaf Blade did not get the crit. We are going to need to heal up. Azumarill with another speed boost. Alright, Blade coming back with some healing items. Hydro Pump. Hopefully this does not do any more near as much damage as what Double Edge did. That's fine, guys. That's fine. We're going to go for a second. Leaf Blade. In hopes that it kills. As long as this Blade, as long as Blade does not get critted, we're fine. Alright, we are sweet, guys. We're fine. Blade uses Leaf Blade and finishes off this Azumarill. It's going to gain a level too. So far, that was probably our hardest Pokemon to deal with. Ooh, Houndoom. Brings back memories. Alright, we might be in a bit of strife here. Alright, we're going to have to send out Rupture. We'll eat up that flamethrower. This thing won't take an earthquake too well. Thankfully, it's raining as well. It will do deal good damage with a crunch, though. Houndoom is a glass cannon. Very good attack, but usually very bad defense. Let's see how it goes. We knocked it out with one hit. Two Pokemon left. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. We're in trouble here, guys. We're in trouble. I don't want to sack anyone off, but we might have to sack off Rupture. I'm going to send out Sphinx in hopes that we can do some something to this thing. Oh man, we're we're done. Oh come on, Danny. I don't know if I should go for a curse. If I go for the curse, it's guaranteed death. What do I do, guys? Ah, come on. God damn it, that would have been perfect timing. I can't do it. Ah. Come on, survive, Danny. Survive with more than half health. Ah, uh, we had to. We had to, guys. We had to. There was nothing else we could have done. The only issue was that was our backup plan for the God of War, which we don't have now. We're just going to have to hope we can stall this thing. Don't get a crit. Oh, we really need this thing to die right here. 
It misses. Die. 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 Come on, die. Oh, yes, all right, Dragonite's down. Got the Guard of War. Oh. oh, no, we do not have... Oh, I thought we had Bite. Alright, Surf does good damage. Ah, oh, why are you going for hypnosis, man? Okay, the future site's coming. Alright, we ate it. Alright, we've got another surf coming off. Very intense battle. Alright, almost there. I'd say Blue's going to heal up this turn. Oh, well, hopefully that Citrus Berry brings it enough health that it won't have to heal up. Ah, but he did heal up. Oh, Blue's coming through with the crit. I mean, Cannon's coming through with the crit. Ah, oh, another full restore. Okay, we got a high roll then. We, if we hit here, we've got a possibility of killing it. Yes, we have done it, guys. We have defeated the champion. We have completed the Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke, guys. It's done. We've got our first win under our belt. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Sacco! So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with a... Electabuzz to work on the first Pokedex. Sacco, you have come of age. Blue, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Blue, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. Sako, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvellous. Sako, come with me. Guys, we have done it. We have defeated the Pokemon League, and we have won the Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, we have become the champion. Just want to say a big thank you to all those who have stuck around watching the series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We do have another series coming soon, which you will have to wait to see. We're not going to end it here. We're just going to have a quick look at all of our Pokemon that we have passed and present. Those that have died and those that have stuck with us. Um... And you'll be able to have a look at that right after we officially announce the champion. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Look at our team. Our Camerupt, our Heracross, our Skeptile, our Dusclops, our Espeon, and our Blastoise. We are the League Champions. Thank you again, guys. As always, if you enjoyed watching, please remember to like and subscribe. The next series will be coming up shortly. Alright, guys. We're going to do a quick team recap of the death box as well as our current team. In the death box, we've got Pearl, Blue Beetle, 
Gannon, Sub Zero, Clown Face, Treetop, Skull Raptor, which was a hard loss, Hard Raw, uh, Hound Raw, which was also a hard loss, and our startup Buzzbox, who almost made it through the very end, but unfortunately died in the eighth gym battle. In our normal box, we've got the only Pokemon that's worth a good mention is Optimus, who did a really killer job in the beginning. The rest of the guys were always there for backup if we ever needed them. To our team, we have the masterful Pink Beetle, who was the captain of our Elite Four winning team. She absolutely killed it this game. What an absolute boss she was. She was our shiny Heracross that we caught very early on in the game. And look at her go. Look at her thrive. She was an absolute legend. Moves she knew were Brick Break, Cut, Mega Horn, and Volt Tackle. She will be solely missed. She was the queen of our Elite Four team. Rupture the camera up. Did a killer job. Volt Absorbability. Caught after the 6th gym, I think it was. Um, did an excellent job too. Played our Skeptile, the latest member to the team. We caught him in the Power Plant. Did some good work in the Elite Four also, and getting up to the Elite Four. Sphinx, who did a killer job to get to the Elite Four, unfortunately did die during the last battle against Blue. Um, he did an excellent job up until then, and even during the Elite Four. Cannon's our Blastoise, probably in our top four Pokemon we had this series. He was an absolute gun. Um, he killed it for us in the Elite Four, outside the Elite Four. Cannon was always an MVP. And Danny, the Dusclops, who sacrificed himself in order for us to get this victory. If it wasn't for Danny using Curse, we would not have defeated the Dragonite, and we would not have won. If that Dragonite lived, we would have been stuff that we there's no that we had no countermeasure for it so Danny was another MVP of the Elite Four. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate you guys liking and viewing my content. We will have a new series coming up. Um, you'll get to see that in coming days. Till then, it is a surprise. Uh, finally, I hope you guys did enjoy and. Um, I look forward to doing more videos and bringing you more content. Thank you guys very much. Peace out.